Mazuma TV back with my final video for the night. All right, guys. Um, I was looking along my subscriptions and I seen an interview that Clarissa Shields along with Shakur Stevenson. Shout out to both of them. Clarissa Shields making her debut on the Kovalev Andre Ward card and Shakur Stevenson coming up with his pro debut uh, following the following year. And when interviewing Shakur Stevenson and Clarissa Shields, they brought up what Kovalev has said. I think it was a couple weeks ago where he said that he believes that Clarissa Shields should um, stay at home. Like, boxing shouldn't be something that she should be involved in. And he said not only Clarissa Shields, but he said women belong at, belong at home, like, in general. And she claimed that it was sexist for him to say. And Shakur followed up with saying he was tripping and he's going to eat his words when Clarissa Shields performs the way she does that night and when he loses to Andre Ward. And um, if you guys know who Sergey Kovalev is and you actually keep up with him, the man has a mouthpiece on him. He says a lot of things people would tend to step back from or disagree with. If y'all remember back in the past, back when he was beefing with Adonis Stevenson and they were negotiating a fight, he called him a monkey. And even Pascal had brought it into the light in one of their press conferences and, and insinuated that Kovalev was a racist for saying that and um you know he has a mouthpiece he doesn't hold back on the things he says and a lot of people blame it on the language barrier but he clearly knows what he's saying he speaks fluid enough English for him to know what he's exactly saying it's not like he's Arislandi Laura one of them guys I don't speak English at all I might know a word or two no he knows enough words to formulate a sentence on any given second so you got to hold him accountable. He's a grown-ass man, by the way. And, um, you know, going on from there, um, my personal opinion on this is, like, you know, he is wrong for it, in my personal opinion. But you got to understand where Kovalev comes from, you know. Kovalev is from Russia. Um, this is, uh, he, he's, 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 he's briefly described as a Russian professional boxer on Wikipedia. So, you know, I did some research on the women in Russia to see – um, I could get a better understanding of why he said that. And I could definitely see why he's saying it now. And I'm not justifying. I'm not defending the guy. But when I was doing my research on it, I found out that women in Russia live under very strict lifestyles. Like, they're, whole, they're, they're, whole, they're held to a very high standard out in Russia. And they live under this principle of devoting their lives to family, to their family and their husbands. And um, they're pretty much there for love and sincerity. So that so it's pretty much like what it was back in the day. You know, the man was the the guy who provided for the provided the food on the table while the women stayed at home, cooked, cleaned, and took care of the children. So it's kind of like that today in modern Russia. And very few women in Russia actually have jobs or are just career oriented in general. So when he looks at a woman like when he looks at women like Clarissa Shields. It's very unusual for him to see because back home, he doesn't see that a lot. People like pe <laughs> Clarissa Shields throwing on boxing gloves is, is kind of like new for him to see. It's something that, that he's not used to seeing. So when he, see, when he sees that, it definitely puts, it definitely like um, rattles his mind because, you know, it's, it's unique for him to see considering where he's from. You want to, I doubt, just based off of the research that I've just done, I would doubt seeing a female putting on boxing gloves in Russia and people actually approving it, you know. Um, so I can see where he's coming from, but come on, dude. Like, you, you're, in your, you're coming to the United States to fight. You're always fighting on foreign territory. You're never home. You fought once at home and you did a ter not terrible, but it was, it was not... Kovalev that was fighting against Chalimba that night in Russia had a lot of pressure on him didn't fight as well as he was supposed to was supposed to actually stop or even knock out Chalimba definitely wasn't able to do so was actually struggling with the guy so um he's used to being on 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 United States soil and fighting and fighting over here for a while he should understand how the way the United States works. The United States is completely different from Russia, just based off of the research that I've just done. A lot of females in the United States are career-oriented, and a female that's career-oriented is his own promoter, Kathy Duva. And I thought that was kind of weird that he would even say that on camera about women should stay at home, women should be at home, when his own promoter is a female. 
You know, I thought that was kind of ironic. I definitely wasn't. When, when you really think about it, it's really ironic that Kovalev has actually said that because that's definitely a slap in the face to his own promoter if she's even paying attention to it, which I'm sure she does, you know. But uh, I can see why he thinks that way. Regardless, he's still wrong, and he knows how the United States works. So uh, he's just going to bite. He's going to have to bite down on that mouthpiece like he usually does and take that L. Um, good luck to Kovalev, regardless of what he said tonight. I mean, um, Saturday night against Andre Ward, definitely the biggest fight of his life. And that's just my take on it. Let me know what y'all guys think about this situation. This is Mazuma TV, and we out of here.